let's take a look at uh, the conditional statements or also called as the decision statements in Python so the reason for calling them as the conditional or decision making statements is because these statements can actually control the flow of the program or in other words they get to decide whether a piece of code will be executed or not okay. let's see some examples to understand this uh, much better so we will start with the if condition so we'll start with the if condition so let's uh, see the in syntax of if statements so the, this is how the if statement is written something like uh, you write if and then you write an expression and then if this expression evaluates to true you can write the statements like one or many statements okay so let's see an example to understand this much better so let's write um, okay a equal to 6 and I'll write an if condition here so if a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 so any idea what I'm trying to evaluate here so basically I'm writing a modulus 2 I'm checking whether a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 so what is a modulus 2 for example if we so we have the number 6 right so it's basically modulus will give us the remainder so when you divide 6 divided by 2 uh, the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 0 so what is this what does this uh, 0 indicate means that the number is an even number okay so that's what I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to find out whether a given number is even number or odd number okay so when this expression evaluates I mean to true or or if a modulus 2 equal to 0 then we know that it is an even number so we will print a is an even number so when we execute this we will get the result as 6 is an even number right so this is how you write a, a, a simple if statement okay so as I already told you that the if condition will be executed when this expression written after the if keyword evaluates to true so let's check what this expression yields so when we execute this expression it basically gives us the boolean value which is equal to true so if condition uh, the, the statements inside the if condition will be executed when this expression evaluates to true okay so also uh, if you have uh, if you have only one statement inside your if condition right in this case we only have one statement you can actually write more than one statement here right you can do you know you can write you can have multiple statements inside the if condition in this case we only have uh, one statement so if you only have one statement you could also write it in the same line you, you can also write it in one line okay so what I'm trying to say is you can basically write something like a modulus um, 2 equal to equal to 0 so instead of writing in the second line after indentation you can basically write this in the same line because we only have one statement okay so in execute even this also works in a similar way so but it is advisable to write this statement in the next line like this in the next line along with the indentation even though you have uh, only one line it is advisable to you know write it in this way so one of the reasons is just to maintain that that consistency right so and also I would uh, like to inform that it's not just one expression that only one expression that you uh, can write after the if keyword 
so you can actually combine multiple expression okay so let me uh, write this again so what I'm trying to say is it's not it's not only one expression that you can write here you can write multiple or you can combine multiple expressions with the help of uh, boolean operators so what are these boolean operators such as and or and and not okay so let's see an example of that so we'll keep it the same way and i want to add one more expression here i'll write and and uh, i'll write something like a less than 10 so what i'm trying to find here is i want to find if the number is an even number and also the number should be less than 10 so if both of these conditions satisfy so i will print a is an even number which is less than 10 okay only when both of these conditions satisfy it executes the conditions in if statement okay so let's just uh, see what the expression yields so if a modulus equal a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 and a less than 10 it's going to give true because both the you know, conditions satisfy okay. so that's how you combine multiple expressions using the boolean operators now let's talk about the else condition okay so when the expression in the if condition does not evaluate to, evaluates to true okay so what i'm trying to say is we have this condition here so let me replicate this so let's assume we have a number 5 <clears throat> so in that case a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 will be false it does not evaluate to true right so then nothing gets printed on the screen so this is where you can make use of the else statement okay when the expression in the if condition does not evaluate to true then the statements written inside the else condition will be executed so in other words if this expression evaluates to true the, con uh, the statements written inside if will be executed and if the expression evaluates to false you can make use of the else condition and the statements written inside the else condition will be executed so i will simply print so if a is not an even number then we can print that is a is a is an odd number okay so when we execute this we know that the modulus of uh, you know uh, phi modulus 2 equal to the remainder is equal to 1 so this eval this expression evaluates to false so it's going to print a is an odd number so let's execute this and we can see that it printed 5 is an odd number okay now let's uh, <coughs> check the nested uh, if else statements so what are these nested no, what are this nested if else statements what are these nested if else conditions or statements so if an if else condition is written inside of another if else condition then such if else conditions are called as nested if else conditions so let's see an example you know to understand this so i'll write a number a is equal to uh, maybe uh, six again okay and i'll write uh, if a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 okay so inside the if condition I will again write one more if condition if a is less than 10 I will print okay a is an even number less than 10 okay so i'll print a is less than okay a is an even number less than 10 and for this if condition for this if condition i'm writing an else 
for this if condition so we already know that it is an even number here we are checking whether if if it is even number then whether it is less than 10 or greater than 10 so if it is not less than 10 then a is an even number greater than 10 okay so this is about the if else condition written inside and another if condition so even in else you can again write if else conditions if you want to or else optionally you, you, you no need to write or if you want you can write here also so i will write a nested if else condition again inside the else statement as well so if a modulus 2 is not equal to 0 which means that it is an odd number so again we will check whether the odd number is less than 10 or greater than 10 so let's copy this entire code and write it here so only thing that changes here is we'll write if a is less than 10 then it is an odd number less than 10 if it is greater than 10 then it is an odd number greater than 10 okay so let's execute this so we know that 6 is an even number less than 10 so let's write uh, maybe 51 so we know that this is an odd number and it is greater than 10 so it will print 51 is an odd number greater than 10 okay so now let's check out the uh, if elif and else conditions okay okay yeah um, let's uh, see the syntax of if elif and else conditions so this is how you write so you write expression 1 in the if condition and then after the tab space you write uh, the statements for expression 1 and then you can write the elif so in other programming languages we have uh, the else if it's called as else if in python it is not else if it is called as elif so in elif you can write another expression and then you can write the statements okay expression statements for expression 2 and you can continue this and write as many elif conditions you want expression n you can write the statements for expression n and finally you can write an else condition and statement for the else conditions okay so this is the syntax of you know if elif and uh, else statements so let's see an example okay okay so let's see an example here so i'll write a is equal to zero okay and i will write if a is equal to zero then i will print a is neither even nor or so this is actually debatable so wh what I'm what I'm assuming is that uh, if when a is 0 it is neither even nor odd number all right so this is what I'm trying to print here if it is 0 then uh, I'm printing it is neither even nor odd or else I'm checking if uh, a is if it is not equal to 0 then it will come to the elif condition and I will check whether a modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 which means I am checking whether it is an even number so in this case I will say print a is an even number and in the else condition I will write print a is an odd number 
okay so when execute this you can see that since a is 0 it's going to come inside the if condition and print a is neither even nor odd so when I change it to 6 so it is not equal to 0 so it will check this expression a modulus 2 equal to 0 yes it is equal to 0 so it will print a is an even number okay when I say 7 it's going to print a is an odd number and yes you can uh, write the elif conditions as many times you would like to okay so let's see an example of that one as well it's not necessary that you write the elif only once you can write as many times you want so let's write it again <clears throat> so if it is equal to zero it is neither even nor odd and if it is if the modulus is equal to zero if the remainder is equal to zero and I'll write and if a is less than 10 I'll write it is an even number less than 10 so else if a modulus 2 equal to 0 and a is greater than 10 so I'll say it is an even number greater than 10 okay then you can have the else condition so you can uh, what I'm trying to say is you can have as many elif conditions you want in your if else if elif else no statement so when I execute this 7 is an odd number so when I give the value as 6 it's going to come in in this scenario where it is less than 10 and also even number so when I give 60 it is an even number and greater than 10 so it's going to print 60 is an even number greater than 10 okay and also I would like to inform that it is not mandatory to you know write the else condition so in this case even if I delete this else condition it will still work without any issues okay but then we don't have a condition to check whether it is an odd number so it's not going to print anything if we pass an odd number right so what I'm trying to say is it's not mandatory that you write else condition even if you skip the writing the else statement and its uh, no else condition and its statements it will still work so that's all about the decision or conditional statements in Python